Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you are all well. In this video, we are going to show you how to restore the Microsoft Xbox One S and X boot logo. Now, a few people on the channel have mentioned this to me uh, after they have done a recent software update or they have replaced the hard drive on their Xbox. When they switch it back on, they don't actually get to see the green Microsoft Xbox boot logo. Actually, it's just a black screen and eventually it does load into the dashboard. However, they're missing the green boot logo. So an easy way to fix this is you have to pop out the hard drive from your Xbox and connect it onto your PC. Now to do that, you'll need a, a SATI to USB or SATA to USB uh, adapter cable. I'll put a link in the description below to one of those, to the one I use. Now once the hard drive is connected, you will see a number of partitions and these partitions will be familiar to you if you have previously replaced the hard drive on your Xbox. Now what we need is a file called bootanimations.dat. Uh, I have uploaded those files to the Boobeam website. I'll put a link in the description below. However, if you head over to boobeam.com forward slash export hyphen support, scroll down towards the bottom of the page, hit this green button here where it says download animation files. That will take you through to the uh, Google Drive which is hosting them, then just click this blue download button. Click download anyway, that's just a warning about scanning for viruses. And then the file will download. It's around 80 meg from memory, so it takes a few seconds depending on your broadband speed. Now once it's downloaded, all we simply do is click on the file to open it. Now there's two variations of the boot animation file. If you have an Xbox One S, so one of the white consoles, or the old uh, Xbox Fat, the original Xbox One, you need the file in this folder. If you've got a new Xbox One X, you need the file in this folder. So I'm doing this on an S, so I'm gonna double click that folder, and then I'm simply gonna right click the boot admin.dat file and click copy. Then I'm gonna go over to the system update X drive. And there we see we've got two folders in there, A and B. And we need to copy the file into these folders. So double click A. Now, if you see the boot admin.dat file there already in either of the A or B folders, just delete that file and then paste in the version that we've just copied. The reason we do that is the version on the hard drive could have been corrupt, hence why it's not displaying. Anywhere on the white space, right click and then paste. That copies over. Go back to system update X, double click the B folder. Once again, right click anywhere in the white space and then click paste. And we copy that file into the B folder as well. Boot admin .dat in B and boot admin .dat in A. And that is it. So only thing left to do after that is just eject your USB drive and then pop it back into your Xbox. And then when you power up the Xbox, you will see the green boot logo once again. So thanks very much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please give us a thumbs up and please subscribe. Hope to see you all again soon. Thanks very much. Bye bye for now.